How was ToyCon? I went last year to ToyCon. Same place. It's in Bethnal Green. Bethnal Green. In uh, London. London. Yeah, in London. North. I think it's North East London. Um, it was really good last year. I went and it was amazing. And it had people like Instinct Toy there. It felt like a lot. there was a lot more buzz behind it. Hmm. They just didn't feel like they had as much like something there that was like massive and like There's oh no shit, buzz, this is dropping yeah. today yeah, and yeah. you need to run like Instinct Toy last time brought some big gorilla things. You see the half eating yeah. James Graham and gorillas yeah, yeah, yeah. like that that was there last time and it was just a huge buzz. I don't know if it was slightly put down because I really wanted to get something from Sun Guts as well, but mm. their um their shop their, their package didn't arrive. So what was good? Did you is that Max Toy was meant to go? And, so Max Toy was meant to go as well. Is, um, it, is that him cancelling? And or he, is it people cancelling? Or is it? I think people cancelling is yeah. a big thing. And it's then also one thousand toys was meant to be there, mm. but they didn't turn up this year because I don't know, for, for whatever reason. And Corey Ree, sorry Corey Corey was do it. We're doing the um, we're selling their stuff, which is just the English 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 seller. Yeah. But I mean, it, it was good. They, there was a lot of fun stuff there. Uh, there was a lot. It was nice meeting quite a few, like quite a few artists. I spoke to Dan Willett from Unbox, who's always there. Um, Unbox had probably the best stand, I'd say, yeah. um, just for like variety and what was actually there. As I say, Curry Curry were really good. They had a load of stuff. Um, all the one thousand toys, a lot of the one thousand toy stuff was there. You got the Knights of Slice guy. Going I got on. the Knights of Slice guy. I didn't get it from him actually because this is the one that I, this is actually the exclusive one for um, Decon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago. Um, oh, sorry. So was this from this weekend, or we just brought this is you? from this weekend? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah so, but I bought him from I bought him from a place called ToyTrash.co.uk. Okay, and they're actually really cool. The guy was really lovely. Um, I got this for sixty quid. Um, I think or 55 uh, but they reduced massively because they used to be loads more than that all the 1000 mm. toy stuff is at least like 80 quid last since I've last bought it and it was the really exclusive it's the exclusive colorway it's not like one of their standard colorways mm. so I was really happy to get this so thank you very much to the guy who did Toy, toy Trash UK um, they've got the really cool stuff there um, but as I say Sungut stuff didn't arrive so I chatted to Sungut so I really wanted to buy something but it wasn't there um, so I could really just chat to him. Yeah. Uh, and there was a bunch of, um, there was a bunch of things. Sorry, I, sorry the Sun Guts guy. So what, was he just sat at a desk, like an empty said, desk? Well, no, there, there was a, he had his stuff there as an example, but they didn't have any of the stock. Okay. So there was like, I, I saw there was a really, he does like, it was quite similar well, to, so you've got yeah. Godzilla thing. Though. It was quite similar to this guy, but it's like a stood up version, but not Godzilla. Um, but it, it just wasn't there. Like nothing, yeah, yeah. just, just loads of stuff wasn't there. So it, a little bit underwhelming, but I mean, it, compared to last year, it just felt there was a little bit less of a buzz. But it's still, I mean, 15 quid. And I had a really oh, nice yes. time in London. Yeah, yeah. Had a nice day. Met quite a few really nice people. So it's definitely worth going if you're ever around London. But I'm hoping next year it's going to be much bigger. Mm. Yeah, it's one of those things that, I suppose, it sort of compared a bit like a music festival. So when people start dropping out, bands start dropping out. Yeah. And then it's just like lowering and lowering the... the that's it. The hype, basically. And so Max, I, can, I know what you mean. Max Toy's probably one of the biggest Fubu makers going. And it's like, him dropping out's a really big one. Well, I was meant, let's be honest, I was meant you to go originally. And that was one of the reasons, because like, travel down to London, it's going to cost a few hundred quid by the time I'm done. Yeah. And, um, and that Max Toy not being there was kind Max of the Toy thing where I was like, toys, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, actually, I wouldn't have mind just, it might have been worth it just to see him and see him again. Well, yeah. Because we went to his thing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It would have been nice. But that was the kind of thing where I was like, that's probably what's tipped it for me not going. So I'm part of the problem, I guess. Where, like, yeah. So I've noticed on like the the sort of uh, the pass, the pass, yeah, the, the graphics. Yeah, Canatia. Oh no, no, she wasn't. She wasn't there. But uh, there's an artist called I think Tomodachi Island who make who paint their stuff. Paints her moulds. Pa- paints her moulds. Yeah, okay. really, really nicely. Um, she, I don't think they were actually selling any of that stuff there, so I don't really know why that was on the back of the box of the um, pass. Mm. But you can see on the back of the pass there is their um, their like. Icon, not icon, mascot. Mascot, yeah. Yeah, it's like this weird um, stomping dra- stomping dinosaur. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they did, they had like an exhibition of all of the different kinds. Like, so loads of artists had painted different colours and pa- painted loads of different ways of. Sorry. And is it, is it this guy here? No, that's Zeke, but that's just done in the same colour oh, as same the color thingy. Thing, yeah. But those are people who painted, and um, there were some really nice artists on exhibition there that had. It's fine seeing what their take on them. Was. Yeah, like when they all paint those cows. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 like a lot like that. Uh, but they also had a show in Hong Kong a couple of weeks beforehand, mm. and half the stuff wasn't there. It, even though I saw it in the short show in Hong Kong, so I was like, "Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that's done in the flesh." Because yeah, um, there was there's a couple of artists that I saw that did didn't did for that, and I was like, "Oh, really looking forward to that." But there was only about five or six things in there. Mm. It was all a bit. Uh, I, don't be, bit, I don't want to be negative. Because it, 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 it's just going, it's just from, your take de- on it, going like. from decon 
yeah. to that was obviously completely like I don't know. Well, I don't that was want... thousands and thousands I know, of people. I know, and that's the thing, and it's so unfair to even compare them. But even compared to last year, it didn't feel. Last like thing, it had that's the best much... comparison. Is yeah, it? it didn't feel like it had had as much buzz. I don't know if it's because I wasn't excited for it. Probably wasn't that, but it just didn't feel like it had as much buzz around it. Mm. But I mean, definitely worth going to. I met the guy from Boglins, Tim Clark, the guy who created Boglins. They're kind of like squishy balls. Yeah, squishy balls. It's like gremlin. Like, like like yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, wait, the one, they're yeah, also you, the ones... You put your hands in and they're yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah little creatures. Boglins, um, yeah. They're really cool and I love Sorry, them. I was, I was like, confusing them with the balls as well. What are those things as well? It's, oh, those are mad balls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. But yeah, I know exactly I know Boglins. I used to have one. Because you, like you have like the hard plastic bits inside. You put your fingers in Yeah, you in put your fingers eyes. in them and you yeah, go... Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but he he was... Uh, 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 little squishy tail uh, bits at the end. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. But I showed... I would have got a I would have got... I wanted to get a Boglin. I didn't have any money now. Annoyingly. I went to... um. I was chatting to the guy though, the Tim Clark guy. And um, I was like, I was like, Becky, you must know Boglins. And she was like, no. No, and then he was like, "You're too young." And she was like, "We're the same age." And then yeah. she was like, and he was like, he was like, well, what about my work on Fraggle Rock?" And I was like, <laughs> and then, and then, and she was like, "What's that? Is that Muppets?" And she, I was like, Becky, "Jesus Christ!" I was getting so Boglins. embarrassed. But Boglins, he worked on Fraggle Rock as well. I'm trying to think. Boglins, I was maybe like, 10. Boglins just toys. Yeah, that's it. But I, so, I remember Boglins. I think maybe because you had Boglins, they also did no, smaller Boglins bit, that were just yeah, on yeah. Your finger. But I was a bit scared of Boglins, so I think I had one maybe. But yeah, I, I, I was terrified massively... Boglins. Do you know why? Because they look like the Riddlers. Yes, they look like the Riddlers, yeah. Like fucking Riddlers. Um, they were all like, sm- you could turn them inside out. I remember now, you could turn the Boglins inside out and they look really creepy. I don't know if you're supposed to turn yeah, yeah, them inside, inside out, but out. you could yeah. potentially turn them inside out. I just wanted to test the tensile stretch, <laughs> doesn't it? Like, <laughs> just wanted to test those, test, yeah. But yes, there was another and another. <laughs> yes, I broke one. Yeah. Um, They're Boglins. And another and another, if you must know. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. You should have started with Boglins, because now, if I knew it was the Boglins then, I would have been all over that fucking You should have gone with the Boglins. We've been running around with two Boglins. Just <laughs> <laughs> We should see if we can probably maybe buy a bug online. But anyway, Tim Clark wasn't happy with Becky. Yeah. Um, but oh, wait, what did you do on Fraggle Rock then? What did, did you he just made, he designed the puppets for Fraggle Rock. Do you know they had those really weird ones sometimes? They had ones with like real hair and they looked like looked like oh, extras like, from Never Ending Story. Like the main, like as in, because some of them, you could tell they obviously spent much more money on certain yeah. characters. Like, but obviously some ones are just like pink things with like little apples. Yeah, yeah, Like the top but, grade ones, basically. Yeah, the top grade ones that were like proper characters, like dragons. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this one that you had a picture of there actually. It looked amazing. I never. Did you ever watch Fire Rock? I, I used to watch a cartoon more than the actual. Oh yeah, there was a cartoon. So have, I used to like the little guys who built stuff. Mm. The little construction guys were like tiny little green men who'd be constantly building, and the Fraggles would like break off bits of the scaffolding and eat them because I think they were, they, uh, they were like, okay. sweet, sweet or something. Uh, like that. That's quite cool. Um, but no, I mean, I never really watched Fire Rock. Would I'd you be go tempted next to go year? next year? It just depends on the artist because I looked through all the stuff and there was the odd. I need like three or four. Where I'm like. Yes, 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 it. yes. Yeah, no, exactly. But if it's like, mm, there's a lot of all right stuff. I had three stores that I was desperate to go to, and then two of them dropped out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, go to ToyCon UK if you're in the area, because it is really Well, it cool. sounds like it just needs support. It that's, just needs a lot more support. Everything that's, is exactly, just support. No, exactly, and that's why I don't want to shit on it, because it was really good last the year before. Um, yeah. You just need some fucking buzz. Need some buzz. We've got a year Down the to high. buzz it. We've got to buzz it. Uh, anyway... Bye bye. This watching. has bye. been our ToyCon review. Go, Thank go and do it. Do it yeah. all. Bye. bye. I like this one very much. Well, yes, that's our Oktoberfest model. That's bratwurst and not worse. The Bratz flat. How to test? Very well. Ninety percent. Highly recommended. What's the gag factor? Instantaneous. We are working here. What is this? That's a, a tofu toss. It's very nice. I mean, that looks no worse for the kosher people, the Hasidic Kiev. Why do we have coconut and mushrooms here? This is diarrhea. This doesn't belong here. We'll send over the Peter in the poop department.